ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my corner of the internet. My name is Jason, and today we are back with some more Elder Scrolls 2 Daggerfall. Last time, we were just doing some uh, general, we'll say, uh, guild questing, I guess we'll just put it that way. Uh, and uh, it, was, it was kind of filler content, it was kind of fun, I, I had fun with it. Uh, so, you know, if you want to go back and check that out, that's cool. If you already saw it, that's cool too. Uh, whatever. Today... I'm going to go ahead and try to resume the main quest, and that will bring us back to Daggerfall proper. We're going to be going back to the city of Daggerfall in the, uh, I guess it's not really the province, it's the region of Daggerfall. I, I've really got to work on, we'll say, the, the my, uh, my navigation here, or we'll say my, uh, uh, geography skills of Tamriel? Yeah, I think that's probably the way I want to put it. Uh, let's go ahead and use our jetpack to get over the wall. There we go. Jetpack engaged. I'm now levitating. Uh, the reason why we are coming back here is I received a very helpful comment from actually two. Uh, well, I guess it was a joint effort. My my wonderful team of people who, uh, who whose brains are not as scatterbrained as me in the comments section went ahead and reminded me uh, to go ahead uh, and talk to the Queen of uh, Queen Minisera at Castle Daggerfall because apparently at some point in the past she talked to me and she was like. Oh, and if you ever find that letter, come back and talk to me. And, uh, I... I... Yeah, I forgot about that. So I was like, I don't know, I gotta wait for a letter to come to me. So that's why I've been wasting time all this time. So, yes, I, I'm very, 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 very sorry. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I want to, uh, th th thank you uh, very much, Mr. Azrael Enterprise and Bad Hair Man, for uh, being my brain, for being my memory throughout this, we'll say, very difficult, throughout this very challenging time. Uh, but anyways, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back to Castle Daggerfall and try to talk to the Queen, and apparently that will get us started on the next part of the main quest. We are kind of nearing the end, and it is kind of exciting. Um, it, it, it's, it's weird. Like, I've, um, if you've, uh, if, you've, if you're watching this, we'll say, more close to live, you know, what? while I'm actually recording these and putting them up, uh, you'll notice that there was a bit of a delay in uh, episodes coming out, and, uh, oh dear, I've fallen in a puddle. And, uh, you know, uh, becoming a, uh, we'll say, a, a dad for the second time has, has sort of created this sort of weird time warp where all time just seems to disappear, and, uh, you know, I'm just struggling to find time to record and stuff, and, uh, or heck, be able to do anything, like, Play games? Pfft. Yeah, okay. I'm trying to get sleep whenever I can. Uh, but anyways, doing so, it's, it's offered sort of a nice break in, in a kind of a way. And I'm able to come back to Daggerfall feeling a little bit more fresh. I'm just like, okay, you know what? Maybe I just needed a bit of a break from the game. Uh, and, uh, why am I, uh, is this who I want to talk to? I don't even know if this is who I want to talk to. It is, it is who I want to talk to. It's Minisera. Let's go ahead and talk with her. So, Morgaya says Gordwog has the Emperor's letter. Very inter- Oh, what, what that? Is, is that her voice? I, I see her Adam's apple there. Uh, very interesting. I think I have a way to get Gordwog to turn over that letter. Are you willing to brave the depths of Orsinium to try to retrieve it? Sure, lady. Let's go ahead and do that. Yes. Gordwog wants very badly to be recognized by the Empire. It would mean the beginning of peace between the Orcs and the other races of the Empire. Present this letter to Gordwog, or hopefully it will persuade him to cooperate. All right, we are heading off to Orsinium, of which I don't remember where it is. It's someplace, but is this guard going to come? He is coming after me. What the heck? Is that because I, I talked to Mini Sarah? Is that... That, that, that it? Every time I go ahead and I talk to her, the guards are always like, we want to kill him. So, I, I gotta be careful when talking to her. Anyways, my stamina is getting a little bit low, so let's go ahead and uh, go go to our ship and then just... We'll, we'll go ahead and heal up in our little pocket dimension. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to... Uh, oh dear goodness. Until fully healed. That's the button I wanted to push. I wanted to push the, the fully heal button. There we go. There we go. Now, 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 everything's all good. All great. But anyways, like I was saying, uh, it's nice. It's kind of, it's nice to come back to the game with sort of fresh eyes, a little bit of a break, and it's got me thinking maybe I should put a limit on some of my Let's Plays, you know? If it's a really long playthrough, maybe, you know, it might not be a bad idea to be able to skip a game for a week. 
and then come back to it feeling a little bit more fresh and renewed. Um, anyways, we're looking for Orsinium, which I don't actually remember where it is. Uh, is it in... Is it in the Daggerfall region, or is it in the... Ah, it's the Orsinium area. Uh, who would have guessed it? In the Orsinium area. Uh, is there an actual place referred... Uh, referred... Is there an actual place referred to as Orsinium? What is this? Orsinium area? Orsinium. We're gonna go ahead and travel there recklessly via ship. And we're gonna camp out beneath the stars. All right, we find ourselves in Orsinium. You smell orcs. Definitely orcs. I was actually able to read it that time. I was actually, I'm actually kind of surprised. I like this. Wait a second. Last time I was here, I don't. Maybe I'm blind. Maybe I was just. Maybe I was just stupid. That's that's possible. I don't remember seeing all these other uh, these other buildings around here. Are these like orc residents? I, I realize the dungeon's right here, right? This this is the Orsinium proper. But I'm wondering, like, is there are there like orc people inside these buildings? Can I like walk in? A voice calls out, you may- Oh, no, sorry. You may- I can't do an orc voice. You may enter. Hey, that's my best orc voice. Uh, I gotta practice that. Maybe if we're gonna be talking to some more orcs, I need to have a, a proper orcish sort of- Oh, yes, glog, 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 glog. Because a lot of what they say kind of sounds like that. Orgs and args and- all that wonderful stuff. Now, I wonder if I try to steal something from here. Are we gonna get human guards? They're gonna be like, you don't look like anything like an orc. You see, Elvira Wick Wickhart. Okay, can I talk to you? What are you? Um, I'm a, I'm a reject of an orc. Okay, uh, tell me about. Can I say about yourself? No, no, that's this is kind of really. Uh, I'm wondering if this is maybe one of those things that just didn't make it in uh, in the game. You know, there's there's so many things when you're looking at the game and you're like, you know, you feel like they, they wanted to do so much more, but you know, as we've stated before, the game is very incomplete. And I'm wondering, you know, were there supposed to be orcs that you could actually talk to? And they just like, you know what? We don't have any orcs. Just put some normal human graphics. That's what, that's what we're gonna have to do. Human graphics. All right, now I now find myself in Orsinium. So we're gonna go and save the game as done yet 18 because I have no reason I have uh, I have no idea why uh, I'm using 18 as a uh, as a, a number. Now are these guys gonna attack me or can I just walk past them? I'm gonna try just walking past them. If I recall correctly, I can just walk past them. If I can't, then I'm gonna die really quick. Hi guy, how's it going? I just want to talk to your leader. Now, this guy over here, he's like, look at me, I'm the leader. You, you can tell because I look the same from all angles. Oh, no, the enemies are coming after me. All right, looks like it's time to slay orcs. Dude, you almost shot your glorious leader. Watch what you're doing. Hello, other orcish warlord guy. Okay, let's just school the orcs. And uh, then we're gonna go ahead and talk to their uh, their glorious leader who, he he can't be backstabbed. He's, he's always staring at us, no matter which way we go. Look, look at this guy, he doesn't even have to shuffle his feet. Oh, you're invisible. You think you're clever, do you? Guess what? You still have to get close to me, you dork. <laughs> I'm invisible. I'm gonna run at you directly head on. He'll never think of a frontal attack Yeah, good job guys. You're you, you are geniuses among geniuses All right, uh Ooh, what have we got here? We got a Daedric broadsword uh, if, Oh wow over a thousand gold there. Let's go ahead and uh, remove that from uh, his um, remains and let's go ahead and grab the the big big broadsword. I heck, we can't really even use it, but you know, heck, let's grab the arrows. Yeah, because we, we we have a a bow, right? We can use arrows. All right. So, anyways, now that we've gone ahead and slain his men, and he's pro probably has so so much respect for us because he's him being a warrior race and all that, he's probably like, oh, elf, I am impressed. So many Sarah seeks to sweet talk me, bah. Her letter is of no value to me anymore. She may have it. However, my people may not be so lenient toward a dog elf wandering the halls of Ossidium. If you can survive my realm and find the letter, you make take. Make take. Don't question my wording. You make take it back to her. I will also consider you to be a worthy dark elf. Yes. Okay. So he's like, I got this letter, but you know what? 
as with most most things, I don't keep it on my person because all I'm wearing is a loincloth. So you're gonna have to go through like my, my dungeon and like kill all my people to get this letter. So I'm like, all right, it's quest time. Let's go ahead and find the letter. It's somewhere in here. Uh, am I, am I, hey, are we sneaking? No, we're not sneaking. We're just running. We're we're gonna just like zoom through this dungeon. Why? Because well, don't tell anyone. But I've, I may have may have inadvertently had like three or four cans of like energy drink stuff. Uh, I may or may not be making up that story, but it feels like I have. It feels like I have because with with how we'll say energetic I feel. I feel like I've got I've got I've got the blood of like a thousand cows flowing through my veins. That made no sense at all. Okay, sure. Yes, I have I have the blood of a thousand cows and a donkey. Sure, why not? So that, that, that's not a recipe for like a medical disaster. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Anyway, sorry. Um, uh, just ignore ignore the the bout of lunacy that uh, that has just uh, has struck me. Uh, I I will I will. What the heck was that sound? It was all like. <laughs> And it was, it was, it was, it was, it was somewhat frightening. I just realized that I've been killing things without looting them, haven't I? See, this is what I'm talking about. When my mind goes too fast, it's just like, hey, I don't care. <laughs> Whatever. You know, we're, we're, we're doing it. We're just playing the game. We're just playing the game. It's like, it's like I, I, I take a completely different, uh, a completely different approach depending on my mindset. And I, I think that's, I'll say, uh, that's a great thing about this game. And one of the things I, I, that I liked about the Elder Scrolls, uh, you know, at least when I got into it, and I, I felt like, you know what? This game can be whatever I want it to be. You know, if I want, like, I got a comment in the uh, the comment section the other day, and uh, it was about, you know, uh, in uh, one of the filler episodes when I was doing, a, I think it was Thieves Guild quests, I had a bunch of guards show up. And I was like, well, they don't have silver weapons. I could just go ahead and go full Icanthrope, you know, werewolf them all. And be like, I'm going to eat your face. And they couldn't have done a thing about it. But I was like, you know what? That's out of character. Alexis fought to get rid of that curse. She didn't want to take out innocence. So I was like, you know what? No, we're going to we're gonna role play this. And I got a, a comment, you know, sometimes it's just fun to let loose. And you know what? It, it is. It is fun to have that option to be able to just say, you know what? I feel like playing an action game. Uh, and you know what? That's that's a valid. That's that's, that's awesome it, it, that you can do that. And but you know, on the other hand, too, it's also cool that I have the choice of saying, you know what? I want to play this sneaky. You know, I want to play this um, as uh, you know, uh, as a character with these sort of this these set of values, these sort of this sort of moral code. And I can make these decisions and, and you know live with the consequences of them. You know, what, whatever should come out of my, uh, you know, not slaying them, you know? I might get uh, an improvement to, we'll say, my spellcasting ability. I might get, you know, uh, my, my sneakiness might go up, you know, whatever, you know, the, the appropriate skill for that is. Uh, and I think that I, I kind of, that that's kind of, we'll say, the magic of a role-playing game. When I think about you know, one of the things I really like and w w one of the things I'm really excited about with Morrowind uh, is that freedom of whatever you want to do. Like, uh, a lot of people think kind of, you know, they're, they're like, oh, you know, the athletic skill, the, the acrobatic skill, they were redundant, they weren't needed. But there was actually something kind of exciting about saying, you know what? No, I want to make an acrobat. I want to create this crazy character who, like, maybe... He's a thief, and he runs in, he steals something, and then he takes to the rooftops, and he just starts jumping from place to place, and nobody can catch him because of those acrobatic skills. And that's something that's not even possible to do in the later... Holy crap, two Daedric items! Can I carry it all? Yeah, sweet! Cool. I think those are probably better to keep on me because I can store them on my ship. Yeah, I might, be st I might just start storing loot instead of grabbing... Ooh, maybe... I need to do some math. I need to see what's better to 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 just grab a lot of equipment and loot and stuff, and then uh, or just grab the the gold because I'm thinking about this. I'm like, hey, I can just load this stuff all off on my ship. I can't drop gold, but I can drop items for later sale. I kind of like this dungeon because they're all relatively, we'll say, weak enemies. Uh, claimers are pretty heavy though, so I'll leave that on on the ground. But if there's some valuable items that are maybe a little bit lighter, yeah, maybe maybe we'll go ahead and grab those. But yeah, so that's that's like that's one of the options. Uh, and you know what? You know, I just mentioned um, Morrowind, but what about Daggerfall? Let me see. What kind of skills do we have? Let's look at primary. We have illusion, self dodging, major. We got minor. We have 
No, miscellaneous. Okay, we have running. We have swimming. So those are the two separate ones of skills for that. We have climbing. Now, there doesn't appear to be, uh, an, uh, uh, we'll say, an athletic skill or a acrobatic skill. And I kind of feel like, uh, oh, there's a jumping skill right there. So, yeah, I guess that, that that's technically acrobatics right there. So, yeah, the, all, all the applicable stats. Uh, it looks like, you know, they got dumbed down a little bit for Morrowind. But, yeah, even in Daggerfall, let's say I wanted to go ahead and create this character that maybe leaps from building to building. You know, I could go ahead and rebind my jump key to actually something that's uh, more reachable than a J. <laughs> Let me see. You go I reach my pinky over here. Yay! I'm kind of jumping around. My jumping is pitiful. It's absolutely terrible. But, you know, if I jumped around enough, I could be a really good jumper. And I could actually maybe take that that strategy with me. And uh, that, that would be kind of cool. And that's a, that's a choice that I have. And I think that, that is what I like. Not, not even necessarily what's good, but that's what I like in an RPG. And that is what initially drew me to the Elder Scrolls, that that idea that no matter how I decide to play, that I am rewarded. You know, if I decide to, I want to, you know, play that way, if I, you know, I could go ahead and create a class and put, you know, specific uh, stats down for, you know, a specific type of play. And then whenever I did that, I would be rewarded for it with, you know, level ups and stuff, because it's not all just about the combat, you know? Uh, there's not a lot of RPGs that incentivize, or we'll say not incentivize, but really reward you for doing uh, stuff other than killing. You know, it's this is a very action-oriented game. Um, the heck was that? The heck is that? Like an arena, yeah, you had to kill enemies. That was basically it. Uh, and so, you know, Daggerfall really had the right idea. And I really, I really love what Daggerfall contributed to the entire series by making it so that, you know, no matter what skill you're using, you are advancing your character. So if I decided I wanted to make completely a stealth character, you know, it's possible. Uh, from the beginning, I could go ahead and make a custom class that would allow me to maybe do a, uh, maybe a near, maybe not entirely, but maybe a, a close to pacifist type character. A character who mostly gets through situations, maybe through speaking okay uh you know talking sneaking stuff like that those options are there uh and you know i should i should try someday to to go ahead and experiment a little bit more with those uh those kinds of uh, options so yeah stuff like that i think it's it's great it was sort of sort of introduced in daggerfall but i now that i think about it i don't think i probably could do that i feel like daggerfall has sort of laid the groundwork uh because you know daggerfall does have a lot of quests where it's kill this enemy uh, and, you know, if it, ooh, yes, a Daedric Dagger, oh yes, man, today, it's like, today is like the day of Daedric, it's like Daedric Day, it's Daedric Day of Defeat, yes, or Disaster, Daedric Day of Disaster, Daedric Day of, da Daedric Day of something, it's, it's, it, it, it's a day, yes, um, anyways, uh, so yeah, you know, in, in uh, so Daggerfall does still have mostly that, we'll say, action RPG route. Uh, but you know, I felt like, you know, as the series, as the series as a whole went on, uh, you got more of that, those those options. You know, maybe you, maybe you can go ahead and pickpocket someone. Maybe there's another way to go ahead and complete this quest. Uh, and those those sort of uh, branching things. You know, even even Daggerfall played around with that a little bit, but I don't feel like it was quite mastered in this game. Uh, but yeah, it, it it definitely deserves, we'll say, a lot of credit for what it's done. As a role-playing game, because uh, most role-playing games I found or I find uh, to be a lot more focused on action, and Daggerfall truly is a game that uh, sort of captures that um, tabletop RPG feeling uh, rather well. Like it, it is in a primitive fashion, yes, but it does have that. Uh, you know, I, I've played tabletop RPGs. I've I, I would mostly run the games. You know, you'd have your dungeons and you'd have your your enemies, and you know, it's all in your imagination. And there's you know, you, total freedom to go do what you want. You have all your skills, and it, it's great. And in those games there, a lot of the time, uh, at least the games I played, it's uh, not all about the combat. I know Dungeons & Dragons is a little bit more combat-oriented, uh, uh, but, you know, I, I've played other games where, you know, you're rewarded for role-playing, you know, using other skills. Like, you can level up and, you know, it's excel as a character without even uh, having to initiate combat. And that's cool. I like that, and I feel like Daggerfall kind of uh, helped. It's it's uh, Daggerfall and you know the Elder Scrolls 
sort of the middle games, I want to say. Yeah, the middle middle Elder Scroll games, uh, I find, are probably the best for um, capturing that tabletop RPG feel. Uh, unless you actually know Arena. You know what? Never mind. So, the Elder Scrolls. You know what? Screw it. Screw, forget the entire Elder Scrolls series. We're just talking about Daggerfall, Daggerfall today. Daggerfall does a good job at doing those things that I just said. Yes. All right. There we go. All right. Uh, you know what, guys? I know that this is going to be a shorter episode. Uh, I'm actually feeling uh, rather sick at the moment, and I feel like a, we'll say a sinus fit or something. Uh, that's the only way I can describe it. My face feels like it's about to implode. It's just like the, the pressure. My eyes are watering. I can't even see the screen anymore. I'm just like, oh my god, when will this end? So, uh, <laughs> we'll say for my own sanity and yours, you know, because you don't want, I'll be playing the game and be like, I can't find anything. Holy crap. Uh, so because I want to avoid that and uh, avoid my voice getting even more nasally than it probably is. I'm sorry about that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut things here. Uh, next time we will, uh, we'll say, find that letter and continue on with the main quest. So if you like the video, if you like the content and you would like to see more of it, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, <sighs> go ahead and give it a thumbs down. It's all right, I give you my blessing. Do it. Uh, and, uh, until next time, I would like to ask you all to game on.